Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to spend some time with me today. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day and in Ireland and I think in England as well. Today is Mother's Day so I want to wish all the mums out there a very very happy Mother's Day regardless of whether it's Mother's Day or not in where you live a very happy Mother's Day because really mums should be recognised a little bit more often. So I thought that today um, I would do an empties video and I have quite a collection of empties here um, so I'm just going to get stuck straight in. Um, I finished up a bottle of Dove Pro Age Nourishing Body Wash um, for a softer smoother skin after one shower and that's it there in the very recognisable kind of wine coloured bottle. Um, I actually did enjoy this and it is quite a moisturising shower gel. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of, it's quite creamy and your skin doesn't feel dry um, after showering. So yeah, I would buy that again. Um, I did enjoy using it. Um, another shower item, it's more a hair item um, and it's the Pantene Pro-V Classic Clean uh, Conditioner for healthy looking shiny hair for normal and mixed hair. This I would put in the family shower so there's quite a lot of us <laughs> here so we go through a lot of shampoos and conditioners I think I'm pretty sure I had the, the shampoo to go with this and wherever I had my empty stored I think I must have left it there but I'm pretty sure I had the condition or the shower to go with the conditioner again a lovely shampoo um, not drying uh, suitable for all hair types because we've quite a Selection of hair types in our family. <laughs> so yes, I would repurchase that as well. Um, when I'm using cotton squares, I use, these are from Primark or Pennies and they're from the early days collection. They're from, from the babies section, you know, where they have kind of baby wipes and things like that. But these are um, lovely big cotton squares and you get, there's a little teddy on the front, it's very, very cute. There's 80 um, little cotton pads in in the packet. Um, I actually have one that I wanted to show you. Just excuse me, I've put it over here. Here I am. Um, so that's the size there. So they're quite extra piece on. They're a good size, so you can get quite a lot of use out of one, and they're quite thick because they're they're doubled. You see, like that. So you can use one side, fold it. So you kind of can get four uses in one go, if you know what I mean. You fold it like that, so you get one, two, and then fold it again, and you get the other side, three, four. So I really like those, and they're only two euro for 80. So I really enjoy using those, and they're really soft. They're not, sometimes I find cotton squares or cotton cotton, uh, cotton balls can be quite, oh, they can be a little bit rough on your skin. So I, I really enjoy those, and I constantly repurchase those. Um. Actually, another shower item. This was uh, from Peabody and Paisley Apothecary Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash. Um, that's it there. So it was a nice big size. Again, when I'm buying items for the shower for the family, I try and buy as large as I can because they just seem to disappear very quickly. And there was 946 mils, so almost a litre in that. And this one is free from parabens glycols and synthetic colorants. Um, it says our rich foaming body wash is a vital part of a da daily cleansing routine. This ultra moisturizing cleanser deeply nourishes, conditions and lightly scents your skin with a blend of coconut and vanilla. Indulge your skin daily with intense skin healthy ingredients to leave it feeling soft and smooth. And this is really, really lovely and it has the most gorgeous scent. Yeah, it's kind of, it's not it's coconutty but it's not too strong and it's vanilla but again it's not too strong because I like vanilla but not not a very strong vanilla, not a, just a pure vanilla scent. So it's kind of like a holiday scent, it's beautiful and what I really liked about that was that it's free from all those nasty chemicals. Um, so you put it onto, you know the, the shower puffs and you'll get lots of use and I think that was about... I think it was less than 10 euro, it was nine something because I bought it in TK Maxx. So I'm hoping the next time I go back that they have them because I really liked it. Um, and it was lovely to use on the children's skin as well. It's very gentle and non-drying. 
Um, you've heard me speak before about um, my love for uh, almond oil and I use it as a facial cleanser and I've used up this one and it's the Mi Aroma. Um, it's, you can use it for massage and skin care, you can see it there, massage and skin care and it's softening and nourishing. Just a very simple, plain, sweet almond oil. Love it. Will repurchase, may not repurchase this particular brand, but I think this was on offer in Holland and Barrett. It was buy one and get the second for a cent. So um, I think this one was eight euro, eight something. So I got the two for eight euro and say 50 cent. So that was very good value. And I will be repurchasing this. Um, another cleanser was the simple sensitive skin experts kind to skin micellar cleansing water i'm kind of in two minds about micellar waters because i have used bioderma and i did love that and that was it wasn't available to buy in ireland up to a couple of years ago maybe yeah about a couple of years ago now we can buy it in some pharmacies um it's slightly more pricey than the supermarket brands um, and I started using the Garnier one which seemed to be very similar to the Bioderma except I did find it slightly sticky and then I heard from Karen from Miss Ginger's Beauty Channel um, she was talking about the ingredients Karen is great for knowing the ingredients um, in different products and whether they're good for you or not good for you or what's good to include or what's good to leave out I cannot remember the name of the particular chemical. It was something like PHB. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can find it and I'll put it below. Um, but the Garnier micellar water has that in it and it's not a good ingredient. It's not so healthy for you. But the simple doesn't. That doesn't have it. So this one, it has three vitamins, two skin loving ingredients and zero artificial perfume or color. Um, so you can use that to remove your eye makeup or to remove your, your facial makeup you could, some people use that as a toner um, um i did like it but i don't know if i'll be running out to repurchase it in a hurry it's a handy thing to have um my next one is um l'oreal elnet satin hairspray and this one is extra strength with pro keratin for very volume <laughs> so that's it there I'm not, I don't use hairspray on a daily basis, but when I do use it to hold, you know, to hold a bit of uh, lift in my hair or just to kind of hold it in place, I will use that. That's my, that's my uh, hairspray of choice. Um, it does brush out very easily. It's not too strongly scented. So that size is, it's 200 mils. That lasts me quite a while. Um, I had a sample of a Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with orange extract. It was a tiny little sample. I have an itchy nose. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, I, as you can see, cut the top off to get the very last out of it. That little sample uh, lasted me, I'd say, nearly 10 days. Yeah, it would have done because you need a very, very small amount and there's only 0 0.17 of an ounce in that. And it has a tiny little grain in it, so you're exfoliating. Obviously, it's the exfoliating cleanser. It's quite gentle. It's not drying. Um, and I did enjoy it. And I would consider buying the full size of that. Another skincare item, and this is one I've mentioned before, and it's my Mad Hippie Face Cream. That's it there. So I've run out of that, and I had... Um, I have one on the go and a backup as well, because when I order these from iHerb, I generally order two. Um, it's better value to order more than one item and they're not expensive I think but the price can vary a little bit but it's this was less than 25 euro two little down thing downsides for it there's only 1.2 1.02 of a fluid ounce or 30 mils it doesn't last you know it's, it's not a huge um, container I'd love if they did a bigger one it would last me that would last me a couple of months because you literally now there's nothing left on it i don't think you get no there isn't you pump one pump is enough to do your whole face so um it's it you know it, it spreads very well 
It's very moisturising and it has peptides, acai, argan oil and resveratrol. So it's very good for anti-aging. It's an, and I'll just read what it says on the back. A natural revitalising face cream that reduces the appearance of wrinkles. So I would recommend you checking this, this range out. It's really, really lovely range. And I'm, I've been using the vitamin A serum. And in the last week when I got my delivery, um, uh, I got the vitamin C serum. So I'll be talking about that in a later video. But I really, really like that. The only other downside to this is, as I said before, you can't see inside it. So you're not sure when it's going to run out. But I'm actually getting used to it. it you can, for that, when I compared this to my new bottle, the weight, obviously, and the, you can kind of tell a little bit that the pump is not working quite, you know, there's not as much pressure to push the cream out. So, but you, you can't see. So sometimes it can just run out and you don't get any warning. <laughs> um, another facial item, and I've spoken about rosehip oil before. This one is the Trilogy um, Certified Organic Rosehip Oil, and it's 20 mils in that bottle. Um, I've been using the Trilogy range for years, but recently I've started to use the Atlantic Aromatics simply because it's less expensive. This I think that size bottle is about 19, 20 euro. Um, and I think the Atlantic Aromatics is about the same size. I'd have to compare the, the actual amount in it. This is 20 mil. But the other one, the Atlantic Aromatics, is less than nine euro for a bottle. So it's probably better value. And I don't really notice a difference in the oil itself. I actually think that there's a tiny, tiny little bit left. You, you, well, I, don't, I can't get it out, but you can see that it is a golden, a golden liquid. Excuse me, at the palm of my hand. I was peeling carrots. Does that happen to anybody? And it stained my hand. <laughs> um, so you can see it's a kind of golden liquid. The Atlantic Aromatics um, rosehip oil is slightly darker in colour. So I'm not sure if that means it's a better quality. I don't know. But I really haven't noticed any difference in how it performs on my skin. And that is one thing. Rosehip oil of some kind will always be in my skincare. I've been using it for years and it is a natural source of vitamin A. So if you were interested in using vitamin A but were a little bit nervous about going down the Retin-A route or what's, um, there's another name for it. Um, I can't remember what it is, but Retin-A that you have to get on prescription. Um, if you were a little bit nervous about using that, I would highly recommend this. You'll see a slower result because it's, you know, it's not as intense. But it's really, really lovely. It, it, it's very good for hydrating your skin as well. It's very good for scars. Um, it's just a brilliant all-rounder. And it's one thing that I would highly recommend anybody to include in their skin care regimen. Um, now, the, this is my toothpaste of choice. And it's the Sensodyne Pro Enamel. And I love that toothpaste. This one is the Gentle Whitening, which helps restore natural whiteness. Um, it was Lisa Lisa D1, beautiful Lisa. Um, she uses this all the time. And from the time I started watching her channel, I was converted to using this and I wouldn't be without this either. So always have this and I will this I will be repurchasing again. I have two little makeup items. This is MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I don't think you'll be able to, you might be able to make it out. There it's very worn and I literally have scraped the last out of that. That is a great eye base because it's a skin colour. So it can take away, um, you know, any redness or veins on, on your eyelid. And it's a great base for holding your eyeshadows. I find it holds my eyeshadows really, really well. So that's going into my Back to Mac. Um, my nose is still itchy. <laughs> Another Mac item is my Prep and Prime. Um, it's the Fix Plus. And it was a small... Um, what do you call it, a deluxe sample, because when you go to the MAC counters now, you can buy these sizes, I think that was 10 euro, because I'd never tried it, and um, I was curious about it, so I do like it, but um, I'm only really getting into pow powders more now than I did before, so maybe I'm going to need it a little bit more, and I'm going to repurchase that. So yeah, Mac's, MAC Fix Plus. So that's two items for my Back to MAC. Um, 
take me another little while to get another four. So, oh, I have one more. I almost forgot and it's here. This one is a hand serum and it's by Liz Earl. Um, I've been using this since last summer and this is my second um, tube. I will be repurchasing this. It's a wonderful hand serum and um, it's got naturally active ingredients. All her products are naturally contain naturally active ingredients. They're based on botanics. Um, uh, I don't, I've never heard of this one. Kegelia extract. It's got organic rosehip oil, cranberry seed oil, pomegranate extract and natural source vitamin C and it visibly plumps and smooths the hands. Um, and it's, is it in a, it's in the super skin range. So it's the super skin hand serum and there is a hand cream as well. But I think because this is the serum, you put it on, before you put on your hand cream. I have the driest skin on my hands and they're not in very good condition at the moment, as you can see from when I was peeling my vegetables and carrots and things, that it stains, so that obviously my hands are dry at the moment. Um, because I've run out of this and I haven't repurchased it as yet. But when I have been using this through the year since I think last August winter time would be a particularly bad time of the year for my hands that they would crack on the knuckles they're quite dry at the moment and um, I often would get you know little splits at the top of my fingers um, that are extremely painful and I have to put plasters on them to try and get the moisture back in I put lots of cream on and put the plasters on and um, since I've been using this and I had it combined with well with any good um, rich hand cream that has made such a huge difference to my hands. And I think um, even on a f one use, you can see that it, it actually does change, you know, it, it, it improves the appearance of the skin on your hands very, very quickly. You can use it as often as you want during the day, but it is a little bit pricey for that size. It's um, 75 mils. So I think it's 27 euro. So it's expensive enough. I tended to use it just at night. Really, I should have used it in the morning as well and then just use my regular hand cream throughout the day. But I highly recommend that one. It's really, really good. And it's got the most beautiful scent. I'm not sure. I don't know if there could be neroli in it. Um, no, I'm not sure, actually. Cranberry seed oil, borage oil, pomegranate extract, natural source vitamin C. I thought I read at one stage that there was neroli in it. But it has the most beautiful scent. All her products do. So highly recommend that as well. I think that's it. All, I've gone through everything. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, what have you used up this month? Um, I always think watching empties videos is a great way to know what people really do use on a regular basis. What works and what doesn't. Um, because sometimes you buy something and you use it and you think, oh, I'm never going to buy that again. That just did nothing. <laughs> so what did you use up this month? Um, I'd, I'd love to know. So I hope you have a lovely day. Um, the sun is shining here and um, it looks like spring is in the air. And hopefully the weather will continue to be pleasant and sunny and we're past all that cold weather. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.